Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new flashback Higuain card to review today. And a really cool variable with this card is that I think they actually upgraded his skill moves from a three star to a four star. So that alone for an MLS player playing up top in the striker position with the four star, four star capability is definitely going to be a very nice thing to give this card, right? But for the sake of the review, let's go ahead and check out some of the stuff that we are working with, right? So we're looking at a car that is six foot one with high medium work rates, right footed, four star skill moves with a four star weak foot. In regards to his in-game player traits, he actually has the outside foot shot trait, but no finesse shot trait. In games, he's got 85 acceleration with 92 sprint speed with 93, 90, 89, 88 for volleys at 80 composure. So with a card like this, it's either going to be a combination of either giving him the engine chemistry style for a better dribbling boost in the card, considering the fact that he is a six foot one player. Or if you don't care too much about his dribbling, you could also give him a hunter chemistry style to boost his pace as much as possible to make it a 95 for acceleration with 99 sprint speed while making his shooting essentially perfect, right? It'd be really nice if he had that finesse shot trade, but it's not necessarily a huge deal because with the engine chemistry style, he still has really good base card stats for shooting, right? So definitely an incredibly usable card with whichever chemistry style you actually give him the big test that we're going to be seeing with this card is whether or not it's going to be worth even giving him that dribbling boost because of the fact that he is a six foot one player it's a big thing to consider because he even also has a unique body type so that's going to be very important to take a look at um, his passing uh, will be improved with the engine chemistry style which is definitely an improvement on the car which is nice you know, he's got 88 agility with 85 for balance. Uh, so we're going to be boosting his balance to a 95 with 93 for agility, which again, I think is very important for his height and his unique body type. Um, ball control at 83 could be a little bit meh, but he does have 89 reactions, which is pretty decent. Uh, he also has 80 jumping while having 87 heading accuracy with 85 for stamina. So, you know what? This card... Uh he could he could potentially make a good cam. It is a, it is a card that I mostly see being used in the striker position. But like I said, he could make a pretty decent cam. So this is a team that we're working with. Nothing crazy. I just wanted to switch some players here and there really quickly. Uh, Higuain has definitely added a factor to the game where uh, there's a couple things you can work with because of Matuidi's card. It's unfortunate that Matuidi doesn't get upgraded more uh, because obviously the season is over. It'd be nice if they like you know did something with this OTW card, but. It is what it is. Uh, it's a pretty cool car with Higuain because of the Miami links. The MLS team is actually coming along nicely because of all the cards that they brought out through gameplay objectives and SPC. So a couple th cool things to work with there. But the two formations that we are going to be using um, Higuain is in is going to be the 4-4-2. It's going to be the 4-4-2 as well as the 4-2-3-1. So the instruction for the 4-4-2 will just be on getting behind and come back in the fence. And then we're going to have him in the 4-2-3-1 playing as the lone striker. Rashford's going to have to go on the left side here with Higuain up top. Matuidi playing through the middle here. And then Jamal Felix in the cam position with the instruction of just balance. So we'll see how he plays on the pitch. Uh, it is nice that he has high medium work rates. If he was like a medium medium, he could be a weird one. But high medium definitely makes a card um, more usable in that sense. So uh, yeah, let's get into a game and see how he plays. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and use them in the 442 first. I need to change from this kit because I like when the differences between the kits are very noticeable, but we move. Yeah, I want to try a finesse shot from there. Um, you know, I want to take some, a few touches here and there. I will say, guys, the engine chemistry style actually makes his dribbling quite nice. It's not like super emphasized, which is pretty cool. Oh, good stuff right there, Higuain. Base card stats for shooting, pretty decent for this card to be able to score that opportunity. His attacking AI is actually quite nice so far in that position. Um, I do like it a lot. My midfield is really bad with Matuidi and uh, Herrera on 7 chemistry, but... Um, yeah, he's moving really nicely so far, guys. I like the engine chemistry style to boost his dribbling as much as possible to make it usable in that sense, you know? Um, yeah, so far so good. 4-star, four 4-star four is a good base stat to have and to work with for cards like this. Because cards like this, they're the physical type strikers, and I think EA giving them dribbling stats uh, with good base card shooting stats is very important to make them usable in a game like FIFA, so. Higuain. 
You see how his dribbling is actually kind of usable? I like that. I wish they did this to cards like he, like Lewandowski and stuff too. Lewandowski is like a weird card in, in a game like FIFA. Good idea, that particular move, but not to be. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. His finishing was actually really good right there. Now, I wanted to shoot that with his weak foot, but, um, you know, sometimes they're going to choose the animation that they're going to go with, right foot, left foot, whatever it is. Um, in that situation, we did force a run out of him right there, but again, he does have very good base stats for pace to be able to maybe score those opportunities. Um, I'll tell you guys this right now. I think the card's really fun to use so far. Uh, we're using him in a 4-4-2 with getting behind instructions, and he's pretty cool. I wish they did this more often to uh, physical type strikers, make them more usable in the dribbling department and stuff. I think it's very important. See that dribbling? It's actually nice. It's not like super emphasized. Like if that was someone like Lewandowski without the dribbling stats that this card has, he just wouldn't dribble as fast to just do those little quick touches with the left stick, right? So, um, in the 442 he's great, guys. I think you're going to definitely like this card a lot. Um, I'm enjoying him a lot so far. I'm going to switch him to the 4231, which I might actually have to switch back to the 442 because um, I've been enjoying the 442 quite a bit recently. But um, I mean, guys, he's he's pretty good so far. He's I think he's like what, like 80k, 70k right now. It's not bad, man. MLS teams are definitely coming along really nicely right now. Like you can use like Matuidi with that new Giovanni De Santos card. Or John Giovanni? No, Jonathan DeSantos. I think it's Jonathan, right? Yeah. Ooh, I tried to do a finesse shot right there. He went with the outside foot shot. That was kind of cool. You guys see that? First time. Nice. See? Higuain, man. Engine chemistry style, guys. 4-2-3-1. He's getting into the right positions. Guys, to be honest with you guys, I'm playing regular FIFA for the most part, and he's doing work for me, man. This is a really nice card with the engine. EA, if you guys are watching this video, listen, man, I, I have problems with your gameplay and stuff, don't get me wrong, but, like, when you make SBC cards like this, they are cool cards, and it's important to do this for your physical-type strikers so that you can make them more usable in your game. So, I'm having a ton of fun right now with this Higuain card. See, small, those intricate touches, you see that? How I take that touch, boom, boom, shoot. That's what I want. He, yo, he's really nice as a lone striker, guys. Really like him up top there. In a two-striker formation, he's great, too. I'm going to force a run downwards here. Up into space down here, there we go. Use the four-star skills. Nice. They really got to do this more often to these types of cards. Lewandowski's team of the year better feel like this, man. Don't expect his dribbling to be, like, super responsive, guys, because it's not going to be super responsive. It's not on the level of, like, Messi or Bernardo Silva, but with cards like this, it's really fun that they do this to, to these cards and make them usable in that department, right? Because even if you give him, like, the Hunter chemistry saw because you really want the pace on the card, you can do that, right? And the dribbling will still be okay, but not as good. Uh, because I really feel like that balance boost is actually really, really nice for him. They have to be careful with how they do uh, stats for specific players. He does like to stay in the middle more often than not, but he will push from the inside to the outside from time to time. See in those situations? It's good that they make those aggressive runs because it actually opens up the space nicely in these areas. See, he makes that aggressive run, but he'll come back. Look, see? Then you can make that pass. Look at that. Fast dribbling to be able to get into the positions for the... I wish they gave him the finesse shot trait. That would have been nice. Let's see if he can win the ball in the air here, actually. Oh, bicycle kick would have been crazy. Beautiful stuff. Shoot across goal. Nice. I really like his attacking AI, guys. I love it. It's super nice. I like the card, guys. It's it's nice. The dribbling, like I said, it's not gonna be like, oh my god, but it's it's cool, dude. 
All right, guys, so final verdict on the Higuain card. I mean, guys, it's definitely worth doing the SBC for sure. 75K for an Argentinian player that plays in the MLS that gives you that Miami link is really cool. I thought he was an awesome card to use. Um, I think the engine chemistry style works really nicely with him because of the balance, agility, and dribbling boost because of his base card stats in certain areas. So here's the thing, and it's very important that EA looks at these types of cards, is that his base stats for shot power and finishing and attacking positioning with the high medium work rates, it allows him to move really nicely with the way that the gameplay is this year, right? And base card stats for pace is at a good point too, because if you give him the engine chemistry style, 90 acceleration, 97 sprint speed already has good base card stats for shooting. You boost his passing to make it nice in the striker position, but you're also boosting his dribbling to work well with his unique body type. So it's a really fun card to use. I wish they gave him the Finestra trait. Finestra trait on a card like Higuain would be absolutely incredible. But guys, you're looking at a card that has good attacking AI, good base characteristics for shooting uh, with 85 stamina and also offers a nice little heading presence for you too if you ever cross the ball into the place. Um, you know, I did the corner over there and I was trying to go for the bicycle kick with the L trigger. But if I just went for a regular header, I would have probably been able to score that opportunity. But yeah, I kept I kept switching between the 4-4-2, uh, the 4-2-3-1. He was amazing as a lone striker, and he also played really well as a secondary striker up top next to Rashford. He was awesome, and I loved his attacking AI. The way that he he does like those angled runs so that if I were to make that pass right away, I could just shoot it immediately and score with him. I love those angled runs when it comes to strikers. So, guys... I would do the SBC. I think he's awesome. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.